Imagine this wild scenario. You're up in the sky flying a plane, and all of a sudden, the world stops spinning for 10 seconds. It's like time freezes. First off, let's talk about the physical experience. As the world pauses its rotation, you would feel a sudden absence of motion. The plane, which was soaring through the air just moments ago, would come to a halt. The stillness and silence would be surreal. You might even feel a slight jolt or shift as the forces of momentum would try to adjust to this abrupt change. You'd witness an extraordinary sight if you looked out the plane's windows. The clouds would freeze in place, almost like fluffy paintings suspended in midair. The sun would hang in the sky, casting an otherworldly glow. And the landscapes below, whether it's cities, mountains, or vast stretches of forest, would become eerily static. A rush of thoughts and feelings would flood your mind in that suspended moment. First, there might be a sense of awe and wonder at the sheer strangeness of the situation. You'd be witnessing something that defies the laws of nature, a temporary disruption in the flow of time. You might also feel a hint of anxiety or concern mixed with that awe. After all, you're flying a plane and suddenly everything comes to a halt. Questions would race through your mind. What caused this? Is there a risk to the plane or to those on the ground? As the world comes to a halt, imagine the rippling effect of this event on everything around you. On the ground, people would sort of freeze too. Cars would come to an abrupt stop on the roads, giving a sci-fi movie vibe. Imagine the expressions of pedestrians and drivers. In larger cities, bustling streets would transform into an eerie tableau. Time-sensitive activities like deliveries and public transportation would also be affected, causing momentary chaos as everyone tries to comprehend what just happened. Nature itself would also be affected. Leaves on trees would hang motionless, caught in mid-rustle. Even the waves of the ocean would pause mid-crash, frozen in their powerful motion. As for the rest of the world, it's safe to say that the phenomenon would captivate global attention. News outlets and social media platforms would explode with reports, videos, and photos of the frozen moments. Scientists and experts from various fields would scramble to provide explanations, theories, and speculations. Filmmakers would make documentaries to explore the global impact of those frozen moments. But let's assume that after those 10 seconds, the world started spinning again just as unexpectedly as it stopped. As motion is restored, you'd experience a jolt of acceleration. The plane would resume its forward momentum, and you'd feel the forces of gravity and movement return to normal. The landscapes below would begin to move again, almost like a time-lapse video played in reverse. Now, your emotions might shift once more. There could be a mix of relief, excitement, and curiosity. You've just witnessed a truly extraordinary disruption in the natural order. You might be buzzing with questions and eager to find out if anyone else has experienced the same phenomenon. Imagine your conversations with friends and experts, discussing theories and attempting to unravel the mystery behind this bizarre occurrence. Of course, there would be endless speculations about what caused the temporary stoppage of the world's rotation. Maybe it was a scientific anomaly, a cosmic event, or even a glitch in the fabric of reality itself. Okay, in the next scenario, you won't be this lucky. You're just cruising through the sky at 10,000 feet, enjoying the view from your trusty aircraft, when an insanely powerful shockwave ripples through the air. It's like a sonic boom racing upward from the ground at a speed that's even faster than the sound itself. Since you're chilling 10,000 feet above the surface, that shockwave is gonna hit you like a speeding bullet in less than a blink of an eye. You're gonna get like two seconds. Now, when that moment arrives, prepare yourself for the turbulence. You'll be tossed around and smacked against the walls of the aircraft like a pinball in a frenzy. It will be one wild gravity-defying roller coaster ride. If we assume the air itself comes to a standstill alongside the Earth, then buckle up, because you'll be zooming through that frozen atmosphere at a speed of roughly a thousand miles per hour. Your poor airplane won't be able to handle that insane velocity and it'll be squished into a sorry pancake before you can even say, oh no. 
I mean, we're talking about an instant stop, like hitting a brick wall at full speed. The world halting means everything in it, including you, would continue moving at the same speed. Yeah, that's right, you'd be thrown into a chaotic frenzy, like a chair in a hurricane, no matter where you are. It won't matter if you're soaring in a tiny plane, chilling in a subway car, or exploring the great outdoors on a leisurely hike. The grim reality is that your fate is sealed, and it won't take long for it to catch up with you. Now, let's talk about the sheer power behind Earth's rotation. You see, our planet's spin carries an astronomical amount of momentum, which is like a stored energy reserve. If the rotation were to stop suddenly, all that pent-up energy would need an outlet, and the most likely form it would take is heat. It's like unleashing an inferno of thermal energy in an instant. Think about it as the most colossal head-on collision you can imagine, with no airbags to soften the blow. It's an all-out catastrophe of epic proportions. Everything, and I mean everything, would break apart like a fragile porcelain figurine. To put it simply, chaos would reign supreme. Okay, let's start from the very beginning. How do planes fly? Four key forces keep an airplane soaring in the sky. First up, we have lift. This force is responsible for pushing the airplane upward. You see, the way air flows around the wings actually generates lift. The shape of the wings plays a role too, helping to enhance this lifting force. Next, we've got weight. It's the force that pulls the airplane towards Earth, like gravity in action. To keep things in balance, airplanes are designed to distribute their weight evenly from front to back. Then there's thrust. This force is what propels the airplane forward. It's all thanks to the engines, which provide the necessary thrust. It could be a propeller or a jet engine. Either way, as long as the air keeps flowing over the wings, the airplane keeps moving forward. Lastly, we have drag. You've probably experienced this when walking against a strong wind. Drag is the force that slows down the airplane. These vessels are designed to minimize drag by allowing air to pass smoothly around them. An aircraft can fly when all four forces work together harmoniously. And, uh, of course, we need the pilots. In our previous scenario, it's none other than you. This made me wonder how Earth's rotation affects the speed of an aircraft. It turns out it doesn't mess with the speed of an airplane. Picture yourself on a train. Now, if you jump in the air while the train is moving, do you think you'd land further back because the train kept going? Nah, that wouldn't happen. Airplanes are like that too. They move through the air along with Earth's rotation, so their speed doesn't get affected by it. But here's the catch. The wind at different altitudes can actually intervene with the speed of an airplane. Let's say you're flying from Paris to LA. Depending on the wind, your flight time might turn out to be compared to the other way around. So in a nutshell, Earth spin doesn't throw airplanes off track, but the wind can influence their speed. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.